Welcome to the second episode of How to Combo. In today's video, I will show you how to combo with Mogwarts. So basically, Mogwarts is a combo deck uh, full of goblins. Uh, you have Putrid Goblin for one black and one generic, a 2 2 goblin that has persist. So when this creature dies, if it had no minus one minus one counters on it, we turn it to the battlefield under its owner's controller with a minus one minus one counter on it. You also play Skirk Prospector, a 1 1 goblin for one red, which has sacrificed a goblin, add one red mana to your mana pool. And first day of class, an instant for one colorless and one red. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it and it can haste until end of turn. It also has learn, but it won't be useful for the combo. So with those three cards, you will also need makeshift munitions, an enchantment for one red and one colorless, which has for one colorless sacrifice an artifact or creature. Makeshift munitions deals one damage to any target. So I will show you how the combo goes. Basically, you will need two mana source of any color and one swamp. You will need also Skirk Prospector, on the battlefield. What you are going to do is add one black and one colorless to your mana pool and cast Putrid Goblin. Putrid Goblin will then go onto the battlefield and you will sacrifice it with Skirk Prospector ability. What will happen? First you will add one red to your mana pool because you sacrificed Putrid Goblin. It will go into the graveyard and his ability will trigger. So with Persist on the stack, you will use the red mana created by Skirk Prospector and the other generic mana you had to cast first day of class. So first day of class will resolve. You will also resolve the learn ability, but there we don't care about this ability for now. Then Putrid Goblin ability will resolve and it will enter the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter and a minus one minus one counter which means that he doesn't have any counter at all. You can then sacrifice Petrid Goblin for one red mana. It will go into the graveyard. His ability will trigger on the stack and then it will resolve. He will have a plus one plus one and a minus one minus one counter. So both counter will disappear. In that situation, we are in the same situation as before, but we have one more red mana. So we will do that an infinite amount of time and we'll have infinite red mana. With that, we can cast Mage of Munitions from our end and use Mage of Munition ability to sacrifice the Pursuit Goblin. It will again go into the graveyard, then his ability will trigger and it will come back onto the battlefield with a plus one, plus one and a minus one, minus one counter. So both of them will disappear. So with this loop, it will dealt one damage to your opponent. And you can do that an infinite amount of time. And this is how you win with Mogwarts combo in Popper.